All right, first off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakak Kodash, Tawadi Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit, Tawadi Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, for giving us his truth as worms, double honor to our apostle and elders at Great Millstone, in salutation and blessings to the whole full elect. And then this is going to be a video basically going on this whole trend of people calling each other goats and <laughs> different other things but the 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 goat they say uh greatest of all time but really that's that's a a omen against you people man because the people that they rep are the greatest of all time is people in the world oh uh, he's oh that dude's a goat oh he oh he the goat but hey the men of the lord they don't represent them as the greatest of all time, huh? They represent these worldly people as the goat. Though he, uh, LeBron's the goat. He's the goat. Hey, but hey, what does the scripture say? What's going to happen to the goats? This is uh, Matthew twenty-five and verse thirty-one. When the Son of Man shall come in in His glory and and all the holy angels with Him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and and before him shall be gathered all all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats, <laughs> and he shall set set the sheep on the on his right hand, but the goats on the left hand, on on the left. Verse 24, then shall the king say unto them on the right hand, come ye blessed of my father, enter into enter into the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. For I for I was hungry and ye and ye gave me meat. I was a thirst and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger and ye took me in. And this is what's going to happen. To the, the to those sheep, which is the elect of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, they're going to be separated and put on the right hand side of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, and, and and placed in a upright and and righteous uh position in the kingdom of heaven, the world to come. But what is going to happen to the goats? I'm gonna just go down. It says, verse forty one. Then shall he say un also unto them. On the left left hand, which are the goats, depart from me, ye cursed, <laughs> into everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. Which is, when it says prepare for the devil and his angels, that's talking about Esau's Edom kingdom going down, man, and being finished off the face of the earth. So you goats, hey, you, you people who love saying, hey, you uh, goats, oh, he the goat, he the goat, hey, a majority of people majority of you people you truly are goats man you truly are goats in the eyes of y'all bush and y'all shot because you're going to be sacrificed like one you're going to be burned in the fire just like a goat would be man and and i'm just using that worldly uh saying to to represent this this how, how these people think man everything these people the everything these people do mindset is all in the negative man everything they do even the quote to the greatest of all time they call them goats and 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 the scriptures is saying what's going to happen to those goats man so hey it it is a basically an omen against a lot of people man against a lot of people because a lot of people are going to die in these last days man a lot of people are not going to make it a lot of people are going to perish as those goats which Yahweh shai has set at his left hand to be prepared for for the fire and judgment in the great day of death which is coming upon earth man because that's what's coming man the great day of death man there's no light coming to america man there's no hope coming here man the great day of sorrow the great day of no mercy the great day of terror is approaching the earth this is uh second ezra's nine and verse verse uh Ten, for such as have, for such as their lives have received benefits and have not known me. Well, I'll start at nine. 
then shall they be in pitiful case which was now have abused my ways and they and they that have cast cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments for such as in their lives have received benefits and have not known me and like what, what, what did this say what did it say about the sheep the sheep fed the lord man when he was hungry the the the, the sheep took uh uh the sh the sheep t took the lord in when he when he was a uh, uh, when he didn't have a home to stay and it's just all parabolics speak meaning that they known Yahweh by Shem Shai. they build up a relationship with Yahweh by Shem Shai, helped out the brotherhood went out and did the work and 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 built this relationship a relationship up with Yahweh by Shem Shai. but the rest of the people of the world the ones ha who have not known Yahweh by Shem Shai, they didn't feed him when he was a hunger they didn't feed him when he was a thirst they didn't give him place to to stay or give him rest when when he acts they cast him off despitefully meaning they cast off the words and the ways and the prophets of yahweh by shimmy al shai so what's going to happen to them they're going to dwell in torments man they're going to perish in these last days because even now it's my so-called memorial day memorializing esau and <laughs> you dumb niggas still celebrate memorial day it is like it's some great holiday they were moralizing, taking your punk ass down, man. Taking the Israelites down. So, hey, man, well, you, 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 Jake's not going to get it. And you don't know y'all about Shimmy Shai, man. You could say, God know my heart, God this, God that. But you don't know y'all about Shimmy Shai. And for that fact alone, you, the Lord y'all about Shimmy Shai is going to get rid of you. Because if you know someone, he's going to protect you. If that's your boy, you're going to protect him. If you if say you see somebody getting their ass whooped up the street and you be and you looking and you know him, you're like, oh shit, you gonna run and help him. If you see some random dude getting his ass whooped, I'm I'm me personally, I'm not helping him, man. I'ma walk away. I'm like, oh well, he getting his ass whooped. Shit. I gotta be to work. <laughs> or something. It's, it's not it's not gonna affect you as much as someone who you truly know, who you build up a, a relationship with, man. And you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have not built up a relationship with Yahweh Hashem Shai. So when he see Esau bring the sword upon you, he's not going to care. He's going to go up the street, man. He's going to leave you, man. And this is all because y'all don't want to listen. This whole captivity is surrounded around niggas wanting to eat pork. Niggas, niggas wanting to commit adultery worship other gods this whole thing is based around what you would think as simple things don't fucking man's just listen to the lord man don't don't be a sodomite don't don't eat pork these things are benefited beneficial for you it's, it's not hard man but at the same time it is man hey because the scriptures say uh uh that that hey the scriptures say the laws aren't grievous so vice versa the laws would be grievous to someone who doesn't want to keep them man and the majority of israelites don't want to keep the ways statutes and commandments of yahweh by shimei al shai so they're going to get wiped off the planet earth this is verse 11 and they that have lost my laws which means to hate or despise while while they yet had liberty because you have liberty like like the brother was telling me uh he said the apostle tar said it uh he said we're not in chattel slavery no more man we don't have chains around our backs, man. We, we you got uh, spiritual like you bond, like with these bonds and uh, your your uh, social security number. That's your s slave papers, but you're not getting beat for everything you do, man. You, you we not in chattel slavery no more, man. You have liberty. You have uh, uh you have time where you can seek your out by Shemuel You have the the uh, availability. To, to figure out the scriptures Not like when then they'll kill you If you read the Bible We're not in them times man You you can You can read the Bible And there, and nothing No harm is going to befall you You can go on YouTube And look up videos And find find out about who you are So you have liberty man You have the 
ability and opportunity to find out about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, but you don't. You squander it, man. You think it has nothing. You count the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah as naught. So you're going to perish as a goat, man. And you're not going to perish as the greatest of all time, man. You're going to perish as the lamest of all time, man. Because you people who, who, who think that's, that this way of America is cool, man, you people are whack, man. And the Heavenly Father is going to get rid of you. And when have yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. And this is, a, I will always remember this, man. I will always remember this. And I mentioned it in videos from time to time. These two Jakes, I was with the uh, Shapadia, Elder Malcolm, and I remember Mathafia and Kapatis. I remember those four brothers being there. But, uh, Shapatya said to to two to two Jakes with Nike bags in their head. They said, Shapatya said, Hey, y'all know y'all Israelites. They said, Man, we don't care. And I will never forget that, man. Dude was wearing a white and black shirt. White white shirt with with some black pants, with some white shoes. I forgot what his boy was wearing, but he said, Man, we don't care, man. And kept on walking up the street. Not knowing that's your goddamn salvation right there, man. That's the only way you, you, you're not going to die in these streets, man. That's the only way the Heavenly Father going to protect you. This is the only way to, to life, man. This is life, man. Not not the way of this world. This is life. This is life everlasting, man. But what does Jake do? They don't care, man. They don't give a damn. So the Heavenly Father's not going to give a damn when he brings these plagues upon you, man. He's not going to give two shits about you. He's going to leave you there to die. And you're going to cry, and you're going to cry, and you're going to cry, and nobody's going to help you, man. It's going to be dreadful for you people, man. It's going to be dreadful times, man. You want to play and joke and, and I don't care and, and do these things against your how about Shimmy Al Shai? Well, he's going to do it back unto you, man. He's going to he's gonna torment you people. It says they shall, in, in verse 9, it says they shall dwell in torment. That's not a joke, man. And the Heavenly Father not going to just... Pop you in the head and then you in the spirit world. No, he's going to torment you mentally, spiritually, and physically. He is the king of terrors. He is not someone to be played with, man. He is not someone to be played with. He is the ultimate Jake, man. He is a terrifying being. And he's going to revenge and bring vengeance upon those who despise his word. Verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. And the, and therefore, be thou not curious. So this is an angel of this is a, a, a angel of the Lord telling telling Ezra is there. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Whose the world is from from and from the world for whom Salakia and for whom the world is created. So the angel of the heavenly father, Yahweh, by Shimmy Al Shai said, Don't worry about them. Fuck them. Worry about being righteous. Seek out how to be righteous. They gonna be punished. They gonna die in a horrible way. But for you, seek out how to be righteous, because that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. Let me get to his last scripture and close it off. This is Baruch 4 and verse 1. This is a book of the commandment of Yahweh, commandments of Yahweh, and the ever and the law that endures forever. A, a Bugatti don't last forever. A challenger don't last forever. A Hellcat does not last forever. Holes don't last forever. Clothes don't last forever. None of these things last forever. So why not seek something that's immortal and eternal that will last forever? All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. And that's what's going to happen to them, man. That's what's going to happen to you goats, man. That's what's going to happen to you goats. You're going to die, man, because you sought after the ways of death rather than the ways of life. And it's just something real quick, something that was on my spirit. I was talking with the head of our camp, uh, the bar. And uh, said you should do a video on that. And uh, through the spirit, 
doing a video now, man, ab ab about that, man. These people are goats, man. That's why them, they rep that. They oh, greatest of all time. Um, I'm a goat. I'm a goat. Hey, you, you truly are a goat. You truly are a goat. And you're going to die just like the Lord said you are. So with that, Lord will hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakwadash, the water Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit, the water Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, for giving us his truth as worms, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Mill, so and salutations and blessings to the whole full life. With that, Shalom.